We all want to keep our bodies healthy for as long as possible so that we can continue to do the things that we love. Today in this video, I'm going to be going over some of the things that you need to know in order to do exactly that. What better way to start off than to address issues sooner rather than later? We've all been there. You throw out your back, your knees are killing you, your neck hurts, something just doesn't feel right. What do we usually do when this happens? Well, usually nothing. Usually, we wait around and expect it to get better just like all the other times. At first, this works, but eventually it's gonna stop working. So the next time you throw out your back or you get that debilitating knee pain, I challenge you to be proactive, to seek help. Don't wait until your body is screaming at you to get help. Recovery takes a lot longer if you wait. If you catch it early, it's gonna take a lot less time to make it better. Even if you're already in the chronic stage or this has been going on for a long time, let this video be your trigger to start now. So, how do most muscle and joint issues get started? Well, if it's not from a genetic condition or from acute trauma, then it's likely how you've been doing things. This brings me to my second point. Fix your functional mechanics. What I mean by functional mechanics is things like your squat and your lift. If your squat looks like this, or your lift looks like this, then sooner or later, you're probably gonna have a few issues. If you wanna save your future self from unnecessary pain, try taking a look at how you perform these functional movements first. Squatting, lifting, reading, texting, and sleeping. Unfortunately, insurance companies won't often cover preventative care. However, we have so much good information right at our fingertips. So what is something that most of us do for around 35 to 60 hours a week? Work. This means that we need to take a look at our third point, occupational hazards. As a physical therapist assistant, I see people from all different occupations. However, some of the people that I see the most and some of the occupations that I see the most are nurses, mechanics, distribution center workers, UPS drivers, and other manual laborers. I don't see that many office workers in the ages of 20, 30, 40, or 50. However, once I reach the age range of 60 to 70, this number shoots up significantly. So just because you have an office job doesn't mean you can ignore the occupational hazards, even if that hazard is not moving enough. So take some initiative and look what you can be doing better at work. Look at how you can change your workspace to better help your body. Areas and situations that you may need to take a look at are as followed. Your sitting desk or computer, areas of high repetitive motion, and any high stress or heavy lifting activities. So, we've talked about addressing issues as soon as they occur, functional mechanics, and occupational hazards. Now, we're gonna address something that most young people shrug off. But first, I wanna ask you a question. What do you think the most common form of cancer is? Lung cancer? kidney cancer, breast cancer, maybe prostate cancer? No, the one that beats them all out is skin cancer. As a physical therapist assistant and someone who works in the health field, I don't often encounter a patient that's over the age of 70 that hasn't encountered this disease. The skin is the biggest organ in the body. Why shouldn't we treat it like it is? Here are some ways that you can better protect your skin from skin cancer and other conditions caused by the sun. Seek the shade. Take advantage of sunscreen and the knowledge that we have today that our parents and grandparents didn't have when they were young. Check your body every month for changing areas of your skin and document them. See a dermatologist one time per year or if you have any questions, about some changes you found or have noticed. 
and for the love of all that is holy, avoid tanning beds. Comment down below some of your need to knows for maintaining a healthy body so that myself and others in the comment section can learn from your knowledge. Also, if you learned something new in the video today, make sure you like and subscribe and turn on the notifications so that you can learn more need to knows about health and other topics.